Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about one tactic that you can use if you're having a problem putting an X behind you. This is something that's really helped me as I've gone through life. I've, I've had a few relationships that really meant a lot to me and uh, they had to end for whatever reason or another. And it was the right decision every single time, but I've always had a hard time letting go of people that I really cared about, especially ones that you had a, a romantic endeavor or engagement with, let's say. But just one one small little tip that I can give you if you're, you're having troubles like this, I, I encourage you to do this. I want you to, to sit down and allow yourself to, to really soak up all of what that relationship was and, and allow yourself to let your mind explore that. I know probably a lot of times we're, we're trying to not think about things. We're trying to put things out of our minds, but just take a moment and let it all come flooding back to you. And think about the whole course of time from when you very first met this person till the, the day that, that uh, you exited each other's lives. And I want you to make a list. And I want you to make a list of all the positives about that person and that relationship. And I also want you to make a list of all the negatives that came along with that person and that relationship. And I want you to take a little time and just put as much stuff as you can on, on the paper, or I, I actually preferred to do it on my phone. So it was something that I was going to have with me every day when I was out there moving about the world and, and having these moments where feelings would start coming rushing back. And ironically enough, the, the times that I've done this for all the people that have left my life, um, I just happen to come up with more negatives or cons, um, unfortunately about that person and that relationship. So my, my con list was larger than my pro list every single time for whatever that's worth. And this may or may not be the case for you, but that, that right there I think is something first and foremost that can help you if you, you're able to look at things in such a light and, and you know really step back and, and appreciate the fact that, yeah, the, the negatives outweighed the benefits there. And, and this, this probably was the right thing that this relationship ended. And it just affirms in your mind that you you know, you you probably had to bring that one to an end for whatever reason. So that's the first thing. But but even if um, even if that's not your case, um, what I would encourage you to do is take both of those lists and then you know maybe write the pros down on a piece of paper and hide it somewhere in your house. I'm not saying you've got to ball it up and throw it in the trash, but just put it somewhere that's going to be maybe out of sight. Or, or not as, as readily accessible, but the, the one that you keep on your phone or something that you, you keep maybe in a piece of paper in your wallet or, or whatever, that's the one with all the list of the negatives on it. And the, the point here is that at that moment in time when you're having a moment of weakness, maybe you're thinking about reaching out and calling them or sending them a text message, or you have this like flood of positive emotions that, that come back and you really start to miss that person. I want you to take that list out and I just want you to read through it. And I want you to to come back to reality in a way, because of course we all have this way of looking at the past through rose colored glasses, right? You're always gonna remember for the most part, like the, the positive things about this person, but it's it's so easy to overlook that fact that a lot of times there there was more negative about them. There was there was more things about that relationship that didn't serve you and that, that didn't make you happy and that kept you in a bad place. And and there were reasons why you, you parted ways eventually. Things weren't working out. So it's it's just been helpful to me. I don't know if this will help you, but as I said, every time I'm fighting that flood of emotions, thinking about an ex, I take out that list and I read through all the things that, that didn't work for me or that weren't healthy for me or that didn't I didn't like about that person or the way they treated me or, or any number of things, whatever you came up with on your list. And when you read through those, it's kind of like this snap back to reality moment. And you're like, you feel better about, I think, yourself and you feel better about your situation. You feel better on your inside. And it just, it's a little, small little technique, a small little trick that you can use to help you move forward in life and help you keep moving forward and, and not get so hung up on that X and on that past and and all this sort of stuff. So um, as I said, this may or may not work for you. This works really well for me. I just want to share that with you today. I hope this helps you a little bit. I hope you're not hurting too bad right now if you're listening to this, this, um, this recording. 
I know how, how difficult it is to put somebody behind you that you really loved, you really cared about, but it's a part of life. It's a challenge in life that each and every one of us must go through. And we've all got to learn to, to address these things. And, and of course, like we have to learn to move on. You can't, life doesn't stop. Like you, you can't get so hung up in your past that you, you, you just forget to live live out your your um, your now and live into the future and do all these this this sort of advancement in life kind of thing. So, all right, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you all soon.